Greetings guys, this is Dograd, and today I'll be driving the E100 for you guys again. Again, some nice tier 10 action. And for the guys who have seen my last video on the OI, have seen that I had completed Heavy Tank Mission 12 for the T28 concept, and that was the only mission that I needed to do before unlocking Heavy Tank Mission 15 for the T28 concept, of which is damage done of... Um, Damage caused, damage received, and damage blocked by armor must at least be a total of 8,000 HP. So, I thought, okay, let's do it this game. I'm going to fire a lot of heat in this game, but I don't really have a choice. It's a 31 percenter, and I've got some really, really strong opponents on my hand, especially this Unicum Object 268, and also a really good RT player, so I'm going to have to watch out for this. So... Normally what would you do, the expectations for me would be maybe do 3 or 4k damage done and then have 3k damage blocked and maybe have uh, half of my hit points removed. Most of the time that would do it. But this mission that I'm doing here is being uh, yeah, kind of nerfed or buffed, how do you want to say it? Uh, Previously, this mission, the exactly the same mission, was uh, Heavy Tank Mission 15 for the Stug 4. But of course, Wargaming have seen that it was a little bit too hard. So they moved the mission up to the T28 concept. But I got my Stug 4 completing this mission, so I uh, thought yeah, this wouldn't be a big problem. I've completed this before, so let's just do it. And I wasn't really expecting to complete the mission at all. To be honest, I just fancy the game in my E100. So I was selecting my E100 and pressing the battle button pretty much. I just wanted to play a game. But there's the E100. And of course, he is also firing heat ammunition. I never, ever, ever expect that an enemy E100 is firing AP at me. I always expect that he's firing heat ammunition at me. And yeah, it happened this time. And as you can see, that's not a very good engagement for me. So I'm going to help out this T44. And there's an enemy E100 right here. So I'm going to help him out. Put a shot onto his lower plate. Not a really big need for heat ammunition there. Because his lower plate angle got decreased because I was shooting down up to in it. So I didn't really need it, the heat ammunition. But now I do really need it. He's over angling his turret and I can easily penetrate this with a heat round. Good shot onto him and he is down. And now this allied E100 is helping me out. I'm thinking, where did the Yak Panzer go? And oh my god, there he is. And now I'm over angling my turret myself. Which cost me a lot of health, as you can see. Uh, anyway, it happened. No offense. Really good shot by the enemy Yak Panzer E100. And that thing has got ridiculous penetration. So he might have been able to penetrate me anyways. But it doesn't matter, it happened. So, what I'm going to do now, I'm trying to take this guy out. I'm just going to side scrape him out, not going around the corner foolishly. I'm thinking uh, the Yak Panzer had fired there, but it actually was the Allied E100. But the Yak Panzer didn't react quick enough, so I was able to put a shot onto his lower plate and take him down. I trust my allied E100 taking down the Conqueror and I'm going after this enemy E100. Again having a heat shell loaded, but oh god there's a T55A. I put a shot onto that guy, of course heat wasn't needed um, to fire at the side armor of a T55A. But for all intents and purposes I had to shoot the E100 first, but I couldn't know that in advance. And now I've again got heat loaded, it's not really needed, but for all intents and purposes, the T55A is going to shoot heat back at me. Luckily he doesn't expect me to quickly re-engage him. It costs him his tank, and I get another kill. So we're on 4000 damage and 3 kills. Atari gets spotted, uh, this is going to be a bit of a shame of the heat round, but I'm going to hope it just hits. Because 0.4 accuracy isn't the best, but luckily I hit him. Really good shot there. Not only there's one enemy artillery remaining. And I'm now loading a AP shell because I'm thinking I will be engaging the Tiger 2. <coughs> or the IS-3 or the artillery next. Because I think that the Object 268 
has relocated towards the zero line. But then I'm thinking, you know what, he's a Unicum player. I don't think he has done that because he has certainly seen me go through this flank here. And I was right, he is right there. Weirdly, he doesn't fire at me. Oh god, there's also an ice 3. Okay, so I know that the Object 268 is a really good player. He's a Unicum player. So what he is trying to do now is trying to engage me from a different angle. So that he can put me in the crossfire together with the ice 3. So I can see this, of course. I have no interest in getting flanked whatsoever. So what I'm going to do, I have to trick this IS-3. I'm going to aim at the 268. Luckily the 268 gets tracked so that I can aim a little bit longer. Then the IS-3 peeks out, I can see this. I have to take my chance so I auto aim and I take him down. The 268 also repairs, I repair my track to quickly turn my tank. And he, oh my god, his shot goes into my tracks, can you believe it? But now I've got heat loaded. I really cannot afford a bounce of this 268 here. So going to put a clean shot onto his lower plate. Which is never going to bounce. Especially not with this 334 millimeters of penetration. Going to wedge my tank up and angle as best as I can. He shoots my turret and he bounces. Oh my god. That really big penetration didn't work this time buddy. And I took him down. And that was my last heat shell of the game. So I'm loading an AP shell again. Yeah, again, I have to now because I'm out of heat. And the artillery is right there. So I'm going to be able to put a clean shot right through him. And finishing off the game in style. What a game, guys. 6,904 damage and 7 kills. Really, really good game here for the E100. And let's take a look at the post-game stats if I did complete the mission with this game. Yes, guys, we did it. We completed Heavy Tank Mission 15 for the T28 concept with honors. And that is really important because I want to skip the artillery missions. And for that, I need to complete every uh, mission of tank types 15 with honors. But let's not focus up too much on to the missions. Let's look at the great result we got here. We got an ace tank badge in the E100. Something that is really nice in tier 10, of course. We've got three tokens, the duelist token, the fire for effect and the bruiser token. We've got the high caliber and the top gun medal. I did 6904 damage, more than anyone was able to do on both teams. I got 7 kills and 1173 base experience. It's really nice that I was able to complete a 15th mission again. I have a female crew member now and I'm stuck with her because I don't know where to put her. So I'm going to have to think about it a little bit more. But if you enjoyed watching this video, please make sure you leave a like. Because I did put a lot of time in making this video. If you haven't subscribed already, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. And I'll see you next time. Please take